Yo, what up YouTube, it's your boy AM coming to you with a video blog. Little Red Riding Hood edition. Let me take this off so you don't get scared. Well, this video blog is gonna be a little bit interesting. I'm gonna do a thing called Spicy Tech. And what that means for the layman's is that tech in like card games or in fighting games is a technique that you use that's not intended for, the, for that purpose, but it's used for something else. To give you advantage of your opponent. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like, say for example, you um, in a fighting game, you press block to like block a punch. But say you say you jump up and you press block, and it gives you a couple seconds of floating time before you land. That would be considered a tech. And so you would block in the air, not necessarily to like block an attack, but just to get that two seconds before you fall, hit the ground, and use that as like a way to mix up your opponent when you're fighting in a fighting game. So that's what they call it like tech. And just give you a little backstory is that I have been working probably the whole year as you've been noticing on my gaming station, my battle station as they call it on the interwebs. And so what that means is I'm always trying to make it better and better and better and better and better and better. And it's it's difficult because every time you try to like look up new stuff, you're, I'm always like ahead of everybody thinking of like what should be the coolest thing ever. I remember when I wanted like a little small little laptop, nobody made those. They made like these 17 inch big old books. But I wanted something that was like portable that you can take with you. And then it took a couple years before people started making like small little books and then it was like okay well that's cool i thought of like other things like why don't you why don't they have like you know a watch and then they finally did and it took a while but everything just makes more sense when you think about it so what i'm saying is that for my desk i looked into the future and thought of something that i can do for it that's unique so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut to another video where i kind of explain my ideas and show you what's going on So why am I calling this my spicy tech? Because this is something I don't think a lot of people would, would have thought of doing, but except for me. So what I wanted to do with my ultimate gaming setup, so my battle station, I wanted to clean it up quite a bit. You know, you can do cable management, you can um, get different mounts for your monitors and things like that. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to do something specifically interesting for my consoles. So I have all the consoles. So I have a Switch, I have the PlayStation 4, and I also got the Xbox X. So these are the consoles right here. And this is the PS4, and then we got right here is we got the uh, Xbox X. And so how I had it situated on my desk was I just had them on stands and they were standing up like this. The problem with that though is when you have it on the desk, it takes up a lot of room. So like if you look at this, the footprint is not very small. And especially if you have the space to part to let air go through so it ventilates the console, the footprint gets even bigger. So I was thinking of different ways to maximize my desk space. And for me, I just couldn't figure out a way to like do it until now. And so this is where the spicy tech comes into play. Right there is a street cleaner. Don't know why it's happening in the middle of the night, but it is. Anyways, not to get off subject, but I wanted to like get more space for my for my desk. Cause like when you're when your desk is really compact with a lot of stuff, it doesn't look nice. There's cables coming out of the back, it doesn't look cool, it's not like good enough management. But what I wanted to do was hide these consoles so you were to where you weren't able to see them. And so I thought of different ways of mounting these. Mount it underneath the desk, you know, here's a desk right here, put it underneath, and so it sits underneath there so you don't see it. Or you can hide it behind something. And so I have my monitors right here at my desk, which you'll probably see um, as I cut to it. But what I wanted to do was put these consoles in a way where it didn't sit on the desk as, I, as such like this. I didn't want to sit like that because that was the biggest problem with me is that it sits there, it takes up space. I want to be able to have like controllers there, be able to have like my 
mouse and other things that set up there and make it look a little bit more clean. And so what I thought of was mounting these in a specific way. And I thought maybe I'd let it hang underneath the desk, but I said, mm, that's not gonna work really well because I need to have access to the console so I can put my games in and have my wires set up and all that kind of stuff. If I need to change things out. So then I thought about it, I thought about it, and I realized that what I need to do is get a monitor mount and then have it be mounted onto that. And so what I wanted to do was hide it behind my monitors. My monitors are different sizes, but for the most part, they're fairly big. Uh, they're 4K and we have about 1080p. One is, um, I believe it's 27 inches, the other one is 25. And so I wanted to put the consoles behind it so you don't see it, but I wanted to put it in a way where I had access to it. So that was kind of like, that was the kind of conundrum. What I ended up doing was looking online, doing a lot of research because I wanted to clean up the bottom of my desk. I didn't want to have the consoles just sit on the desk like this and taking up space. I mean, it just makes it feel cramped up. It doesn't feel, it doesn't look cool. It doesn't, it doesn't look nice. And so if you're gonna have a battle station, you have to make it nice as possible. And for me, I'm living in an apartment. I have limited space. So I can't really like do things like what other people can do is like get a bigger table and spread everything out and make it look nicer. I mean, I have a limited square space that I've designated for myself and I just gotta figure out how to make it work. And so my idea um, came from rent monitor mounts. Um, there's base mounts are pretty popular. So on Amazon, I looked a lot around and I found a couple cool things. So what I found was a console mount. And this seems pretty nifty because what you can do is you can wall mount it so it has brackets, put it onto the wall, or you can put it onto the back of your TV and have the console sit on the back. And so the TV is connected and the console is there. And that's kind of how you could do that. But in my case, I can't put it on my mounts because my mounts are already mounted to the, my monitor is already mounted to a, to a triple monitor mount. So that's not going to work. But I was thinking, well, I can't really put it onto the wall either because I live in an apartment. I can't put holes that big in there. So I had to figure out different ways. And what I came up to it was a single monitor mount like this, which I would clamp to my desk. And then I would be able to stick this onto there and then be able to put my console into there, which would be pretty cool. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm planning to do is put my console onto the single mount. So this is the frame that I bought, and then this is a single monitor mount. And then what I'm gonna do is slide my console into there and then clamp it to my desk. And theoretically, what's gonna happen is my monitor is gonna be right here and you won't be able to see it. And it gives it off the ground so I can actually like put figurines there or put whatever I want there. And make it a little bit better. Um, so I thought that was a pretty cool idea. And so this is what I'm calling my spicy tech. The whole purpose of this is to tech out my desk to make it look cool and to get these monitors off the ground. And the cool thing is, so say like Xbox or PlayStation 4 comes out with a different monitor, we can just get a new frame and then use the same mounts to put them on there. So I was like, oh, that's pretty smart. And say hypothetically, I wanted to get like a new desk. I can, and all I have to do is just unclamp it and then mount this onto there. Or I can move this mount anywhere I want. And I thought that was pretty nifty and pretty awesome. So I'm really excited about that. And the really cool thing about this mount though, is that it's articulating so I can move into different spaces. So what if I want to do that? Pretty cool, right? So like I can move into different ways where I can have access to the console. So basically my monitor mount is be like this. And this is my Xbox X. And I'm gonna hide this behind my desk. And then we're gonna see how well this looks and how well it works in practical use. But this is what I'm considering doing this is my spicy tech. Pretty awesome, right? I think so. So let's just keep going and look at all the, all the different variations that I can do with this. Right here is the PS4. We have the PS4 mount right here. So we'll just attach it to this. Um, I haven't clamped everything down yet, so I am just working this out in practicality purposes. And then the console just slides right into the mount like this. Ta-da! And then I just clamp it to my desk. And there it sits. 
and then it hides behind my monitor and you won't be able to see it. So if you're looking to do like a battle station and using some sweet tech, this is for you. This is pretty cool. I came up with this idea. I haven't seen too many people online do it. So I think it's pretty awesome. And it's something that I wanted to do to make my desk a little bit more snazzy. The problem is, like I said, space is limited. So this is what I want to do. And I think it was going to work really, really well. And so when I put it all together, you'll see the finished product. And it's going to make my battle station even cooler. So stay tuned. Okay, we're back. Now we're going to look at my battle station. Right now we have the current setup right here. But what I did with all my devices is I set it up as such. You saw how I was thinking about setting this up on my desk. Prior to that I had like the consoles on the table and it was kind of a pain in the butt. So like, I'm holding like the camera and I'm holding a light at the same time so it's kind of weird. So I had the consoles right here and it took a whole lot of space and so what I wanted to do was hide it behind the monitors as such. Cause you know, I don't want to look at the consoles when it's down here below. I want to have the speakers, you know, separate kind of an equal distance and all that good stuff. So what I did with my mount and with the monitor stand is I mounted them to the back of the desk. And so what we have right here is the cool new setup. So right there is the PS4 mounted. And then we got right here the Xbox One X. And so it's mounted. And then I want to get another mount right here for the, the switch. And then so it can look so it can just like looks really 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 nice all together. So that's just basically what my setup looks like right now. And the cool thing about this setup, hold on, let me fix this light real quick, is that this setup is able to like get access to the disc. I've been starting to like only get downloads for my um, consoles, so I don't really use too much disc, but if I need to have access to the disc drive, I can rotate it as such, and then just press the button, it comes out, put a disc in, put it back in. So that's kind of a, a really cool feature that I've implemented with this desk stand. And I think it looks a little bit better. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And so if when the Xbox X2 or whatever comes out, I can like get another mount, mount that onto there and make it look nice. And then also right now I have my um, microphone set up and ready to go. This is kind of like um, my desk tour, I guess I can say too. This is, I don't know what form it is, but this is the unofficial version. So like my computer has the USBs and everything, so we'll just turn that on. We got that there. I need to upgrade my headphones. I've been having these for like a couple years. This is the old version of the Still Series um, Sierra, um, no, Siberia 800. I need to get something a little bit better. Um, I've been using this mouse and everybody on the web loves it and says it's like one of the best mice you can get. But I personally think it feels kind of cheapo and it doesn't feel very great in my hand. So I'm wanting to get a new, my, a new mouse. Something that's like a little bit more bigger and something a little bit less plasticky. And so kind of disappointed in that. I also got a wireless charger there. And then I also got my respawn. You saw the video of that. So I actually do drink and game with it. it things pretty wild. It gives you, I think it gives you an edge. Some people say that's just all in your head, but whatever. And then I need to get a new stand for my, ooh, look at that dust, you can see it. For my um, webcam. I have a, I have like two small little goosenecks connect together. So I'm gonna look for a longer gooseneck and just do one so that it, has, it looks a little bit better back there. And then my cable management's kind of terrible but I'm gonna kind of take that apart and work on it a little bit later. But other than that, this is the mounting of my spicy tech. So I did a single monitor mount with a VES, uh, VESA mount to a uh, Xbox um, mount. I don't know if that makes any sense. Mount to mount to mount, yeah. And so now it sits behind my monitors where I don't have to see it. And then if I get something else like right here, I can cover what that looks like. And I think that'd be really cool. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my switch right here. And then 
the PS4 is hidden in the back so you can't even see it. And if I need to have access to it, I can I can get to it. But all I have to do is just pull this monitor out and just get get going. So yeah, this is pretty much it. It's ready to go. Yeah, that is the Improv Desk Tour and my spicy tech video for this video blog. So if you want to see what I'm gonna do with my desk next, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, let me know what other things I should do to make my desk even cooler. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Is there like any cool accessories that I can add to it? I mean, I want this to be all RGB. That'd be super dope. I want to get some like panels for the wall, so it looks really cool. And then right here I have my um, Capcom versus Marvel versus Capcom poster signed by uh, Uni. Sweet. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, Black Friday's coming up, so I'm gonna have to pick up a, a new mouse and also some new headphones. And then I also wanna get mm, different headphones for my Xbox. I asked the main console I usually play, and then right now I have my Borderlands 3 up on my screen. Look at that, it's amazing. And if you wanna, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And stay tuned for more of my amazing video blogs.